Howdy. K5ENB here again. Um, I've simplified things quite a bit since my last video. I'm now up to version 1.6 for the Raspberry Pi 2 All-Star build. Um, let's take a look. Go to UKAllStarHub.com Blog and download 1.6. Now unzip the file with your favorite program. I prefer 7-zip myself uh, when I'm working on Windows. Um, choose the image file, choose the device, and write. All right, card finished writing. Unplug the Pi, put the micro SD in the Pi, plug the Pi in, boot it up, discovered its DHCP address on my network, used PuTTY to SSH to it on port 22. Now I will log in as Pi and Raspberry. Um, <clears throat> you'll see it immediately prompts you to change your password for root. I'll just pick one. Now I want you to change your Pi password. I want you to set your time zone. Now it goes into the all-star setup. Enter your call sign, your node number, your node password, which I'm just going to fudge at the moment. Your node port. This one I'm not using the default on. I have a second node here. You will write your config files for simple USB driver, restart asterisk. Now it wants to set up your networking with a static IP. Um, I'll just pick one. Default netmask. Gateway is my router. DNS is my router as well. It will then reboot and you will need to log in using your new IP. For a few seconds, it should come back, and you can log in as root this time with the password that you chose. And just about everything should be set up. Um, your networking is configured. Your asterisk files are in there, ready to go for simple USB, and you should have a very simple Almon configured. Um, if you check uh, your cron tab, it should be already set up. Um, and there's a default password set for the, um, the Almon. Now if you go to static your static IP slash Almon in a web browser, You'll see you have your node number set up. It's connected, but you have it's connected by the flashing asterisk. Uh, but you have no connections. If you want to log in so that you can connect to something, 
You can log in, admin, and Raspberry. Now you can change this password later um, if you want to read through the home on README. It's um, it's not particularly straightforward, but if you don't open this to the the outside world, um, it's not really much of a security risk. Now from here you can connect to your favorite All Star node and connect. If you'd like to play around with All Star menu, as you may have seen on the All Star on a flash drive, uh, it's on here as well now. Um, looks like this, and um, gives you some interesting troubleshooting and um, um, things to play with. Thanks for watching, and look out for my 64-bit replacement of the Acid OS for uh, for uh, regular PCs. Um, 73.